structures. Okay, so I want to explain the significance of structures using this example. So let's say you have a house. Uh, a house has, you know, all these fields, right? House number, street name, city, state, country, zip code, floors, bedrooms, square feet, built, ear, backyard, pet friendly, etc. You can clearly see that these fields will have values which are different in size or, or type, okay? So let's see how we create, um, you know, the structure. So we go by my house equals to struct of field name value, you know, house number 123, street, college, city, Burlington, year built 1988, so on and so forth. Okay, so very intuitive syntax. So once you do that, MATLAB creates a structure with that field as well as the value. Now, if you want to access a specific field from the structure, you you, you follow this syntax. So you say my house dot city, that is Burlington, my house dot year built, it gives you the year. Now, at any point of time, if you want to add like a new field to your structure, so you could directly do it this way. So here I'm adding the new field backyard uh, to my structure with the value, and you see that it's updated right there. Now, let's look at the syntax to delete a field from a structure. So the function that you would use to do that is RM field, which stands for remove field. Here I'm trying to remove a uh, house number field from a structure. Clearly it got removed. Now there's a catch to this. Uh, you may be tempted to use the RM field function directly on command prompt or in the script this way. So RM field of my house, you know, of house number, it, it appears like it removed it. But if you actually look into the structure, you see that it's still out there, okay? So you'll have to exactly follow this syntax where you're assigning that structure again with that RM field. All right, so this is gonna be a quiz question. Pause it, you know, master the syntax to remove a field from a structure. All right, so now it makes sense to have all these fields in a structure called as address and all these fields in a structure called as attributes, okay? So this brings us to the concept of nested structures, so in which I can have address and attributes as a structure within the structure of my house. And the way I create it is, you know, following the syntax, so I have attributes as the field and an entire structure as its value. So clearly my house has, you know, two fields, address and attributes, which are in themselves structures. And I can access individual elements from those structures this way. So my house dot attributes dot bedrooms is gonna give me the value inside that field. At any point of time, I can add new fields this way. Okay, so here I'm adding the new field city to, to that structure in there uh, and you get the idea. Okay, so I'm gonna look forward to teach you more about structures and cell arrays. I request you to come prepared for the next lecture. See you soon.